what we're witnessing right now is just this erosion of our freedoms in terms of covering the president of the United States. That is just a, a strange and unpresidential thing to do, to be throwing rolls of paper towels at people. I think we saw the president's true colors today, and, and I'm not sure they were red, white, and blue. That's a brief sampling of CNN reporter Jim Acosta's aggressive coverage of President Trump. Well, now he's saying reporters are likely to change the way they cover the White House as soon as Joe Biden takes over the Oval Office. Acosta telling The Atlantic, I don't think the press should be trying to whip up the Biden presidency and turn it into must-see TV in a contrived way. Howard Kurtz is a Fox News media analyst and host of Media Buzz. So what did you think of this Atlantic article and uh, Acosta's new take on his job, Howie? I was absolutely shocked, John. Look, Jim Acosta got a book deal and a little bit of fame by constantly trashing President Trump, debating him rather than questioning him, and pushing his own agenda. For him now to tell The Atlantic, among other quotes, that the Trump presidency was a nonstop national emergency and that he couldn't stomach the president's attack on the press uh, really shows that for Jim Acosta, this has been a personal vendetta. President, by the way, can say whatever he wants. And now to say that the Biden presidency will be approached differently. It's not very hard to crack that code. Uh, Acosta, and there will be others, I assure you, uh, have no intention of uh, aggressively covering the Biden tenure. Here's one quote uh, from the piece in The Atlantic. The title is, The Resistance's Breakup with the Media is at Hand. And it says, quote, I don't think the press should be trying to whip up the Biden presidency and turn it into must-see TV in a contrived way. He says, if that sounds like a double standard, Acosta told me it's not partisan. It's a matter of professional solidarity. If being at the White House is not an experience that might merit hazard pay, he said, then perhaps it is going to be approached differently. A much softer tone coming from CNN, <clears throat> pardon me, at the White House. Yeah, unlike, uh, unlike what we have now with President Trump's coverage, CNN's uh, Acosta's colleague at CNN, reporter John Howard, calls President Trump a psychopath and a kook. No wonder uh, conservatives don't trust journalists. No wonder the 74 million Americans who voted for Donald Trump think there is a blatant double standard. But, you know, there's another quote in that piece from New York Magazine's Olivia Newsy, who, who observes that um, it didn't require any special bravery for journalists to go hard at President Trump. And why did she say that? Because you got hailed by the resistance. You got cable news contracts, you got big Twitter followings. Um, but Biden, she says, covering Biden aggressively won't feel as safe for these reporters, meaning you'll get blowback if you're a reporter who then goes very hard at President elect Joe Biden from you, your newfound liberal fans who liked it when you did that to Donald Trump. There, there are a lot of questions about uh, Joe Biden as he enters the White House, and, and it seems like the press should be asking them and not necessarily. Uh, you know, treating him with kid gloves. Yeah, early indications are that's not going to happen. Look, President Trump has been very challenging to cover through years of controversy and chaos. I understand that, especially during this period when he's contesting the election results. But if the journalists just take a much softer approach to Joe Biden, what, that will prove to everybody that really it wasn't about uh, the people involved. It was about ideology. Howie Kurtz from Media Buzz. Howie, Happy New Year. Thanks.